Last question is from Stacy. Hi Jesse. Hey Stacy. Just started the muscle building program and I'm loving it. That is so good to hear. I understand why you have sugar low throughout the day, but I was wondering why sugars are still low after a lifting session. I have always been told by trainers that that is when you should get the most sugars in during the day. I will do whatever you tell me to. You're the boss of me. I, I just need to know why. By the way, I'm loving all of this food in the muscle building program, thank you. So, wow, I have so much control over you, Stacy. I'm your boss and you will do everything I say. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. So, everything that those trainers have told you is not wrong. In fact, we're all valid there with those points. So, if you are going to have sugar, the best time to have it is post lifting. So, that's why they're telling you that. I agree with that. If I have sugar in my diet, I make sure I go have a killer training session. I come home, I have that meal that's a little higher sugar. I have a cheat meal, I have some ice cream, just anything, carbs that are have extra sugar in it. Fruit, that's when I get a lot of my fruit in, is like a post-workout smoothie. They're right, I'm right, I'm the boss, they're the boss, do your thing. The only reason that it's not in there in the muscle building book, and I've talked about this a ton of times in the private Facebook community for all of the Jesse's Girls programs is that these programs are 12 to 14 week programs that are meant to get you as lean as possible while still being fueled in a 12 to 14 week time period. To do that in that short amount of time, we have to pull back sugars. So if this was just muscle building without any sort of if this was like bulking or if it was just muscle building without any sort of get really lean and have an end product at the end of the muscle building program that is a bikini or a competition or a class reunion or a vacation. If we didn't have that goal at the end of the muscle building book, the sugars would be much higher, not astronomically higher, but just moderately higher. And I would discuss in the book when the best time to take in those sugars is, which would be post-workout or pre-workout. That's a great time too. There's your answer. I know that makes sense. And it's something that when I update the books, I'm definitely gonna add in there just so that everybody gets it all at the same time because, <laughs> because we keep answering it in the Facebook group. I keep talking about it and uh, not everybody sees everything every time it's posted. So that's why is because I want you lean and mean and muscular at the end of these 12 to 14 weeks and we have to take the sugar not out completely but we have to pull sugar back a little bit in order to do that if getting lean and mean and awesome isn't well awesome is always the goal if getting lean is not your ultimate goal at the end of the jesse's girls muscle building program if it's just muscle building and learning new habits and getting a little bit leaner than you are now and finding your way around the weight room and putting some size on your muscles and reverse dieting a little bit, repairing your metabolism. There's so many benefits to the muscle building program. If those are more important to you, which they should be, than getting really lean, then you are allowed to add more sugar in. And it's as simple as that. And the best times to do it are pre and post lifting. So I hope that clears some things up for you. But no matter what anybody says, I'm still the boss of you. All right, love you girls. See you next time. Have a great week. Mwah.